Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to share with you a Anna Griffin China cabinet cards that I created with their craft kit. And I had created this video a while back and didn't get a chance to share it with y'all. So now I decided <laughs> to go ahead and share this with you guys. I hope that you don't mind that it's late, but if you have any questions or would like to have a short tutorial later on, please let me know. Thanks for stopping by. Hey guys, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Welcome to my crafty channel and thank you all so much for joining me today. I wanted to share my Anna Griffith cards that I created using the China cabinet set that I got. I did a haul video on this um, a few, I think it was a few months ago. So <laughs> I'll put the link to in the description box below and up here. So um, yeah. I love this set. So if you guys really need fast, easy cards to do, um, this is a really great set. Now, I've never ordered, I've ordered her other stuff, you know, like dies and embossing folders and stuff like that, but I've never ordered her card making kits before. And I really like them. They're so beautiful and so easy to put together. I love the fact that you also get a template to kind of um, guide you on what to use or how to set everything, how you set your card up if you ha don't really, um, you know, have an idea on what to do. So let me go ahead and share the card with you real quick. So here I like did lots of layering. Look at all those layers, you guys. <laughs> so pretty. And then I just used some of the beautiful flowers that come in this set. Uh, this is a die cut. Okay, this is a die cut back here. These are little words that you get in your kit. And then um, this is the card, one of the cards that you, uh, that you get. So in you, once you're done, you just, you know, you put your sentiment or whatever you want to write inside. And there you go, you're done. It's so simple, you guys. I mean, basically you're just die cutting, um, punching things out, and putting it together using your glue. Okay, so there's one card. The other card I did is like this. And again, these are dies. So you get everything you need in your kit. And I'm going to go over it one more time with y'all. I did it in the video, I think, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. And then, of course, I had to use the beautiful Renee Bouquet Pink Butterflies. And I went ahead and used the fine glitter that she sells in her shop. Okay. So, oh my gosh, it just adds so much to your card, you guys. So pretty. And then the cardstock is actually a Recollections cardstock. And then I just went ahead and matted a white cardstock inside. So there is the second card. So let me open this kit up for you. Also get the um, envelopes with this kit. Again, this is the Finishing School uh, craft set or craft box. It is the China cabinet. Okay, I'm going to stick that right up there for you guys to see okay so this is how it comes now of course I've you know went through it and rummaged everything around <laughs> so but these are the dies okay and you get an embossing folder okay and so this is kind of like what I was telling you guys you get a template of what you can and how you can use everything in your set in case you just need I like a little bit of a idea, you know, a little guide to help you kind of gather some thoughts. And then there's another one. So pretty, right? Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this set. Um, this was recommended to me by uh, another crafty friend and I am so glad I got it, you guys. So, so glad. So here's the embossing folder, okay? And that is actually what I used on the white card here right back here okay so that's the embossing folder the die set comes like this okay and it's and so this right here these are the dies okay this is part of the die this right here is the die this die right here you get a little tiny die right here and um, actually I have my roses sitting on those these the those are right here the little tiny I cut those out those little circles back here or doilies okay this big die right here is actually on this one here okay 
So there's that one, and it just cuts that right out. So beautiful, y'all. So beautiful. So there's that. And then, um, and I usually keep, like, all of my stuff together. So even if I'm, you know, using, I have this, instead of throwing this away, I still have some more areas here I can use. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and keep those, uh, keep this, you know, and I can use that as scrap for later and cut out some more of the corners right in through here or the little circles. And then this I wanted to keep because I thought, you know, this would be good for on top of a card and then you can place other stuff inside of it. So um, that's why I went ahead and kept the negative. So in your kit, you get the um, gold cardstock. Oh my gosh, this is like butter, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Like it cuts out so cool. <laughs> so super easy. Um, these are the little circles from the die cuts. And so I decided to go ahead and keep those. You know, they're always good for something. So I thought, why not? So I don't want to throw that away. Um, these are the papers that you get, okay? So you get a stack of papers, okay, to for your cards, all right. And I think I used um, which one was it? This one. It's this one that I used. Yeah, this is actually the one, the white one. Okay, let me go ahead and pull that out so you guys can see it. So I want to share with you. So this white one is the one that I embossed on, right here. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So cool. And then um, these are the cards. So these are your six by six cards. Okay, and this is what you're going to use to place your stuff on. They're just pretty by itself, right? So pretty. And um, so you get a ton of those. Okay, so there's that. Here's all your words. Okay, so you get like, uh, for my friends, sending hugs, um, a happy, I don't know if happy birthday's in there, best wishes I think or something, but there's a ton of different uh, words in there. These are all the flowers you get. And now the flowers are all um, raised. So they're, uh, you know, like 3D, okay. And you get a ton in here, you guys. Look at how much you get. That is a ton. And they all have stickers on the back. So all you have to do is just tear off um, the, the double back strip on here. Okay. So all you have to do is just tear that off. And it's ready to get stuck down. Now, I did add a little bit of glue to mine. Um, but... I mean, it, you really don't have to because it's already got the glue on it. And then here are the little circles, okay? And these go on top of this part. So if you wanted to, like how I did, um, I used one of the circles right here. So this right here is actually one of those circles back here. It's actually um, this one right here. So that one's this one first. And then I went ahead and cut out the gold doily, the small one, and stuck that on top of there. And then used my word on top of that gold one. So, um, so you do need foam tape if you're going to use these, okay, just to get that pop-up uh, lifted 3D look, okay. Now here, this, I actually was messing around. And so this little guy right here right I just popped that on top of there I just glued it down because I wanted to see what it would look like so I just took um, like let's see here I don't know if this will work so I just like took one of the little round circles okay and I just stuck that right on top of there and see how nice that looks when you put that right on top of there just like that it adds so much elegance to that. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. So, so pretty, you guys. And now your circles are also have double stick tape on it. So um, they're ready to just pop down when you are ready to adhere that down. So you could just stick your little circle cutouts from your gold cardstock, okay, from your die cut, 
just stick that on top of there and see that's it that's what it looks like plain and this is what it looks like when you stick that gold um, little die cut on top of there just like that how pretty is that right so yeah you get so you get a ton of these absolutely love that idea and then again you just go ahead and you use your foam tape you stick everything down and voila you're done <laughs> so easy you guys so easy and especially when you have the little template here a uh, little guide to help you you know kind of decide mix and match or whatever you want to do with your um with your with your cards how to make a card so I just love this set. So many wonderful ideas. I definitely recommend the China Cabinet. So if you are in the mood to purchase something really uh, elegant for your card making uh, stash, <laughs> then this one I recommend. So again, here's my little cards. So pretty. I love it. Love it. Anyway, I just wanted to come on real quick and share that with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. And um, if you want to see uh, a video, a tutorial, or not, I don't know, really know if it's a tutorial, but just a video on me sharing how to put together the cards, uh, just comment down below and I'll be happy to pop one out for you guys. So thanks so much for stopping by. Y'all take care and have a great day. Take care. Bye. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me today. And down below I have two crafty videos for you guys to view. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and hit that bell for future notifications on all upcoming videos.